Cassette tapes, they're making a comeback. I'll show you some from my collection and show you my all-time favorite portable cassette tape playing device. Let's flip the record. The ways in which we can access music today are practically unlimited. But growing up in the 80s, the easiest way for me to hear the songs that I liked, when I wanted to hear them, was to play them back from a cassette tape that I had previously recorded songs onto from the radio. And it went a little something like this. Right here, now. Up next on The Countdown, coming in at dead last, a song that nobody asked for. Here's Jimmy Metro with Pictures Will Fade. So by the late 80s, I had accumulated a pretty good collection of cassette tapes like these, side A and B, from beginning to end, packed with songs recorded off of the radio. A radio that looked very similar to the one you just saw. Uh, this cassette tape right here was my preferred cassette tape of choice. Uh, it was cheap, it was available, and uh, it worked. Around 1990, I was able to buy brand new pre-recorded cassette tapes. So here's a look back at my taste in music around the age of 16. Beatles, Stones, Stevie, Police, Anita. And then I learned how to appreciate rap music as one does. And these are the artists who spoke loudest to me. This video is not about high fidelity or high quality. Your best Walkman may be the Iowa HSP07 from Back to the Future or the Sony TPSL2 from Guardians of the Galaxy. This is about a Walkman I have an emotional attachment to and I thought you would get a kick out of it. If you do not get a kick out of seeing it, feel free to dislike this video or leave a negative comment. Just don't act like you didn't see this message. Thank you. Without further ado, here is my all-time favorite portable cassette tape playing device, the Sound Design Music Mate Model 4605. The nickel version of why this one is special to me goes like this. Back in the day, a friend of mine showed up with it at the playground, and I pretty much lost my ever-loving mind. Of course, I'd seen boomboxes and Walkmans, but this was a weird, cool, funky, hybrid crossbreed of the two that just blew me away. And Transformers were very popular at the time, so it was like being in the presence of the real-life, actual, functioning Decepticon sound wave, or the Autobot Blaster. So I fell in love and it's been haunting my dreams for 40 years. Okay, let's move on. Let's take a look at the box. Available in three dazzling colors, white, red, and black. That's very nice. Other side shows you that you can use it as a Walkman. You can just attach one speaker if you want, not both, or both. Very cool. This lady is taking a jog and has it on her waist. I know this thing comes with a strap that's not actually um, as thick or as wide as that one. It's not very heavy duty, so we're going to have to figure something out about that because that's not going to work. But mostly, I'm going to probably be using it like this guy, especially since that guy looks exactly like me, and that's how I live my life because I'm definitely not this guy. Let's open her up. Read the important information before you blah, blah, blah. Okay. Remember to use your head when you use your headset. That's very clever. 80s humor. Very cool. All right. And important. All right. And the all important operating instructions. So this thing is as close to mint as I could find this in, but it's not exactly brand new. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But it's got pretty much everything that it came with as if it were brand new. Don't throw it down the toilet. Don't set it on fire, blah, blah, blah. So when it came in, I did take a look at it. And if you, can, if you look close, it does have some... I don't know if you can see it there. It's got some some scratches and some scuffs on it. Pretty noticeable um, off camera. But, oh, I think I've got it upside down. 
but still, for as old as it is, again, she's not in too bad a shape. There's that strap, and there's nothing else in there, so I'm just going to leave that alone. But we got the main unit, two speakers, the headphones, and some wires. So let's check this out. Let's take out the main unit there. That's nice. Mm. No pause button, but I think... I could live without it. I think I'll be okay. Let's take out these speakers. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Got the little contacts there that when attached make contact with those contacts and that's how the magic happens oh man so cool locking the tab all right let's pull out the other one like this there's the other one the uh the speakers seem to be pretty clean not a lot of scratches and scuff marks on, on them. Pretty decent condition. Pretty nice. Locking the tab. All right. And there she is in all her glory put together the way I remember it. I mean, that's fantastic. Pretty cool. So I'll put some batteries in it and I'll turn the radio on, but I'm probably not going to play any cassette tapes because YouTube will get mad at me for that. I mean, I guess I could play a couple seconds, but... So there is, yes, there is, this thing comes with an antenna. This antenna goes into the headphone jack right there. That little piece goes into there. And I believe, let's put this like that so you can see a little bit better. I believe we'll be able to pick up some some radio. All right. All right. Well, that sounds pretty amazing to me. Again, um, these speakers, not Bose. And I knew that going into it. That's not why I got it. As stated in the disclaimer, I have an emotional attachment to this one. And uh, that's why I love it. So it came with these wires that I can use to disconnect the speakers and then plug it into the headphones to where they still work. And you can just kind of put the speakers wherever you want. I'm not going to open this up. I'm not going to be using it that way. So we're going to skip that part and we're just going to take a look at the headphones man i think i don't think these have been taken out those are some old school Retro 80s headphones right there, boy. Legit. So one thing about this one is a lot of cassette tape players have, you hit the stop eject button and the door pops open like that. You put the cassette tape in the door and then you close it. Well, that's not how this one works. 
This one has a little bracket type thing down there at the bottom that secures the tape in place. So this door doesn't actually really keep the cassette tape from falling out. All it does is protect it. So when you want to eject it, you can open the door, hit the eject button, take it out that way, or you can hit the eject button, the door pops open a little bit, and then you can kind of help it and take the cassette tape out. All right, maybe I play a couple seconds of this just to show you how this sounds, but. So I got my Dream Walkman here, but I don't want it to get beat up or weathered, so I don't really want to take this one outside. So I had a thought. Uh, two thoughts, actually. One of them's a little bit crazy, so I'm going to need you to roll with me on this for just a minute. So I love the way this works, and I love the way it looks, but I started thinking, you know how that door doesn't actually hold the cassette in place. It's that bracket, it's that metal bracket down there. I like the way that you can look at the cassette tape and see the things running inside. And I thought, well, what if I got another one and take the door off and that would be the one that I rocked. So that's what I did. Sorry about that. Took a little bit of a left turn there. Uh, got a little crazy, but I got what I wanted. And I know it looks weird. I asked my wife what she thought it looked like to her. She said, yeah, it looks like you're wearing a broken cassette tape walkman on your hip. And I said, oh yeah? Well, I'm a clown. So the last thing I need to complete the cassette tape walkman experience are headphones. And I thought these cost Porter Pros were pretty nice. They're retro, they look great, they sound fine, but in order to match this guy, I'm gonna need big, bad, and ugly. Enter the Labtech C184s. These are big, bad, and ugly. I think these fit the bill. Uh, there's a button on there for mono to stereo. Each speaker has independent volume control, and these were designed with people in mind who sit at their desk in front of their computers and don't want to disturb the people around them with the volume, which is the reason for the short cord. But in this situation, perfect fit. Now I'm ready to go outside and I'm ready to rock. Oh yeah. So this was really just a little show and tell that I felt like sharing with you. You won't find any links in the description of this video because you know what you like and you know where to find it. Finding the treasure at the end of the movie isn't why you watched it. It's, it's the search, the hunt, the adventure. If I would have clicked on a link that brought me directly to this, then I wouldn't have found this while searching for it. This is an old school dictation device that uses full size cassette tapes, making it a perfect addition to my collection. So what's in your collection? Is there a cassette tape player from the past that you have fond memories of? 
where does your adventure begin? I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And carry on, my wayward son. There'll be peace when we are done. Thank <laughs> you.